dreadlocks and balding. It happens, folks. I have some tips that can help, or you just fresh out of luck, fam. Snake, man, you been alive. I, 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 cut us down, man, you multiply. I don't care, man, I fly to you. Air Jordans while I take flight. That was a line from back in the day. Big up, Gershom, we'll be doing fine. I, I, where the time go? Bye bye to my own flow. Risky, I'm like. Hey, y'all, welcome back to my channel. Same background, same hair, same makeup, same girl. It's your girl, Essence of Shay. Let's get started. Dreadlocks and balding happens, people. And I have some reasons as to why this happens. It could just be your age, fam. You probably just getting up there. <laughs> and you just need to just deal with it, okay? It happens. Let it go. Or not even with the age, it could just be genetics for real though. Uh, you could have family who just suffers with balding and is just a part of nature and this is just what happens. And there's not really anything you can do to reverse that, unfortunately. Just embrace it. Don't be like your boy Stevie one day and have that thing go all the way back here. Second thing, it could be traction alopecia. If you don't know what traction alopecia is, it it's uh in in layman's terms it's when you are pulling your hair too tight um and it causes the thinning your hair at the root to be thin and it starts to pull apart which causes gradual hair loss this happens usually like i said when you pull your hair too tight in ponytails and to, and all that stuff this can be reversed with just the specific oils that you use that help with hair growth and with thinning and stuff like that. So this is something that you don't have to really say, oh my gosh, I have tractor alopecia and um, I'm doomed. No, you can actually reverse this. Number three is intense root treatment. You're always retwisting your hair. You always retwisting your hair. You just keep retwisting your hair. Every week you're retwisting your hair. And it's not even like you just retwisting it, you're tightly retwisting your hair. After a while this is going to cause balding your roots are going to start thinning eventually your lock is not going to be a lock anymore it will be on your pillowcase number four could be a little tricky but this does happen with some people and some people it doesn't so it's a case-by-case -case situation and it's extreme length and weight if your hair is really thick and really long it can put a lot of straining onto your roots, which causes your hair to get thin and balding. Some people can go their whole life with really heavy hair and really long hair, and it doesn't affect them one iota. And I keep using Stevie Wonder as an example, but this can be an example as well. He might not was he might not have been suffering with balding, but he could have been have he could have been in that case where his hair was just too long and too heavy and he just kept it in a ponytail and it just kept pulling 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 till now it's not at the base of where it originally started. It's just pushing back. So that can be an issue as well. Last but not least is styling in your hair in a way that it's too tight. Whether it's a style where you do in an updo and you're like pulling your hair all the time. Or like I said in the beginning when you put your hair in ponytails and it's just straining for their life to hold on. Because you have it up there too tight. Or whatever hairstyle you're doing is just too tight the styling is too tight you're not loosening loosening up your roots that can cause thinning and balding in your locks which will cause you to have no more hair fam like i mean some people look good boy headed so give that a whirl 
And some people have a weird shaped head, like I'm sure I do. <laughs> guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you enjoyed this video leave in the comment box below balding so i know that you made it all the way through and i will see you later tiger lily keep forgetting this now because somebody told me that this means dead or something stink or dead or something like that in sign language but i already do it so it's not like i could take it back <laughs> So are we all dead together? Like, <laughs> what do we do? Anyway, see you later, Tiger Lilies. Toodles. Crash course. Let me hide the money in the dashboard. Max mad, could you lost the brick inside the Porsche? Goofy with the curb.